Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Welcome to another edition of Knife Shelf Sunday. Okay, today we got a blast from the past, and that's for sure. How many of you guys have one of these when you was a teenager, or, or probably before a teenager? I think I was probably 12 or something, maybe, I don't know, somewhere around in there when I had this. Well, not this exact same one, but the same thing. I was recently in a antique shop, and... Uh, Ran across this and uh, had a box of knives for five dollars a piece. And this was laying on top of the box, five dollars. I couldn't pass it up. Look at that. Back in the day, when this knife came out. You had this knife. You thought you was Rambo, buddy. Check it out. that too cool or what okay when I found this knife the um, had a couple of bad places rusted on the blade one right here I don't know if you can see that or not you can see the eye you can see the uh, this little dark spot there and on the other side it had a really bad one right there I took some 1500 grit sandpaper and sanded it down. It did leave a little patina on the blade, but but I mean the rust all came off of it. I probably should have went with a thousand grit instead of 1500 because this is um, originally didn't come out that shiny. It's got a little more of a shine to it now. All right, before we get into this knife anymore, let's talk about this sheath. Check out this sheath. This is the original sheath. Man, these things were really made really junky. I mean, back then, I remember when they were a flexible vinyl, real thin vinyl, which this now is very far from flexible. I mean, it is really stiff. It's getting brittle. As you can see it's got a crack there on the end. It's getting brittle. Should have had a uh, vinyl strap with a snap going across there, which is missing. Just a really cheap sheath. Got five. Count that. So we should could put a lanyard in there. Uh, six little rivets holding it together. A little stitching. Like I said, this is a really cheap sheath. Thought about, um, I don't want to trash it because I want to keep it to the, with the knife because it's original. But I thought about making a, just for fun, making a, a new leather one for it. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, on the front we got the pocket. Got the uh, original stone with it very coarse I mean really coarse stone which uh, I guess if you had to use it I guess it would work put a edge on your blade but like I said really really coarse stone really really cheap stone but in a pinch I guess it would work Okay, knife detector. Did you hear that? Hear that again. You hear that? This is the only fixed blade knife you're gonna you're gonna see. Or you're gonna hear. Look at that. 
Got to snap open, snap closed. Okay, it's blade. Overall, five and three quarter inches. But the cutting, cutting length of the blade is actually just five inches. This originally had, looks like the uh, hammer finish paint on it, which a lot of that has wore off over the years. But I mean, it's just, it's just flaked off because I don't think this knife has been used. There is no sign of any kind of use. It's never been sharpened. Like I said, it just had the rust places in the blade from being in that sheath all those years. And, uh, got the saw teeth on the back of the blade. Those are fairly aggressive. I'm not sure how much actually saw on they would do. I think this more was more of a gimmick knife than anything. You probably could put a good edge on it. It doesn't have much of an edge on it. Of course, it's got the bottle opener. All right. Still got the compass in it, but it's to be expected. It, it doesn't work. It's lost, evaporated some of its water out. But, I mean, it's... I thought it's pretty cool to find one with the compass still in it. Got the two key rings on the under the uh, compass there, and uh, guess what? This thing still has the goodies in it. I have opened this, but just to see if the goodies were in it, but I haven't pulled them out. So this is. I want to share this with you. This is a uh, first for you and me both. Let's see if all the goodies are in it or if they've been opened. There's the two key rings. That's for the wire saw that should be in here. Hopefully it'll be in here. There's the wire saw. I'm not going to try to unfold that. Okay, the original rubber band still there, dry rutted and fallen off, but it's still there. It's pretty cool. I do remember using the wire saw on mine. I remember breaking it, and uh, I don't remember what happened to the knife, but I, I do remember using the wire saw. It does cut, but not for very long. But you would have. Uh, Got the little uh, ring there on each end you would attach the key ring on there and just hold the key ring in your fingers draw it back and forth and um, cut through your tree limb all right let's see what else we got in here okay there's the matches like it's got Six matches. Still on the rubber band. And that is very dry rotted as well. And as you can see, the metal from the bar saw is kind of eat through it there. And under the rubber band is the uh, striker for the matches wrapped around there backwards. Pretty cool. Okay, we also have a hank of fishing line. Looks like that's probably a 20 pound test, just guessing. I don't have any idea how many feet, but looks like there are several feet on there. Okay, here's another match that had fell out. So it looks like seven matches. And a 
bear a needle. Oops, I dropped a sinker. Hook one. Um, I don't remember mine having a needle. I guess it did. That could be handy. Got three uh, slip shot sinkers. Got one, two, three, four, five uh, small fishing hooks. And that's the size that I like. I use that for a lot of bluegill fishing. Pretty cool that they're not rusted. Uh, I assume that they would have uh, drawn moisture and rusted inside that handle in the plastic bag. Anyway, it's a pretty cool little kit. Probably there's a little extra room in there. Could have put a little more in there if we wanted to. Um, probably put a small ferro rod. You can see it uh, got a little plastic rubber seal on there. Which I doubt that it's uh, waterproof. Probably far from being waterproof. Wouldn't hurt had a little bigger O-ring on there. But they went cheap and uh, Swiss compass still worked but uh, anyway no big deal uh, they probably didn't work real really in the first place I mean I probably wasn't designed to really work it's basically for looks but, um, Anyway, um, I said you had this knife when you was a kid. You thought you was John Rambo. If I mention it or not, Let the camera pick it up. There it is. It's a 420 stainless steel. Okay, if any of you guys uh, have one of these when you was a kid, especially if you still have one, your original one, hey, I'd like to see a video on it. As far as that goes, um, uh, some of you other guys have been doing some knife show Sunday videos. Uh, Cabot Bluegill, he done a couple, and uh, Adam over at Coyote 238, he's been he's abbreviating been his uh, KSS for knife show Sunday. So, uh, hey, yeah. anybody that wants to jump on board on these and really enjoy these knife videos, let's, let's see your knives. All right, y'all know the routine: like, share, subscribe. God bless.